still ahead? Heroes who should not be forgotten. I'll tell you about America's original special forces, the secret army that helped win World War II. Still waiting for the highest recognition. Before Special Forces and Navy SEALs, before the CIA, there was the Office of Strategic Services, the OSS. The U.S. Force was behind some of the most daring operations in World War II. Congress is poised to award surviving members the Congressional Gold Medal for their bravery at last. But time is growing short for this handful of heroes. We spoke with one. Yeah, this is uh, Mont Blanc, one of the highest peaks in that part of the Alps. In Woodstock, Virginia, 93-year-old John Billings still has a vivid memory of the daring mission he flew that helped turn the tide in World War II against the Nazis. It was February of uh, 45. It was in the Alps. It was very cold. Back then, he was First Lieutenant John Billings, a veteran of 14 daytime bombing missions. He was assigned to Operation Greenup, an OSS mission to drop three spies behind enemy lines in Austria. We couldn't find, I mean, the whole of the Alps were, were just blanketed in overcast clouds. Later, we found out that, that the wind speed was 200 miles an hour going over that ridge. And even the clouds were falling that fast. The three spies parachuted and made their way to Innsbruck, Austria, Gestapo headquarters. That mission inspired the 2009 film Inglorious Bastards. We're going to be doing one thing, one thing only killing Nazis. The intelligence the real spies gathered about Nazi troop movements proved vital to defeating Hitler. That was one mission and a handful of heroes. At its peak, the OSS had 13,000 operators working through Europe, Asia, and Africa. Almost a third were women. They went behind the lines on covert operations, underwater and from the air. The greatest generation of special ops and spies. <laughs> Today, there are few left. Billings would like for him and the other survivors to be awarded the Congressional Medal, not only for their sake, but also for history's sake. It, it, it means that uh, at least somebody thinks that we did a good job. John Billings is still flying airplanes. The Senate passed a bill to give all the OSS veterans the Congressional Gold Medal. Late this week, we heard from the OSS Society. They tell us the House will vote on awarding the medal. One source tells us that could happen after Thanksgiving. Congratulations to all the brave Americans who served.